my name's Elizabeth Swenson, and I designed and wrote and did a little bit of the art for The Witch. Uh, my name is Sean Bouchard, and I was a programmer on The Witch. Hi, I'm Sarah Passamar, and I composed and recorded the music, and it's in the artwork for The Witch. The Witch is sort of about these dense um, decision points. There are all of these sort of potential threads of conversation and activity that are going on at once. I'm a systems guy, I really enjoy systems, and so it was fun to develop that kind of a thing. I love fairy tales. Fairy tales have a sense of uh, formula and sort of harken back to the earlier, the earliest understanding of magic. The idea that language is power, that to say something is to make it true. Uh, that's really fascinating to me. The main instrument I used was the piano. You can hear that in almost all the tracks. The next couple ones that were most commonly used were, were the clarinet and guitar, and I guess probably the accordion. And then other ones that kind of made their way in there were the violin, my keyboard, and different synth things on my iPod Touch. My favorite word right now, it's been my favorite word for a while, I love the word murmur because it's a forced uh, onomatopoeia that uh, because of the nature of the word you have to say it quieter on the second syllable, murmur, it kind of it forces you to be quiet. You can't, you can't yell murmur very well. When you're going back through some of the scenes, it's nighttime. You can hear the sound of crickets. Um, and what that actually is, is I have this tiny little heater. And every time you turn it on before it really had warmed up, it would make this little <laughs> sound that sounded exactly like crickets. I love um, stories. So I love playing games and figuring out how they um, create narratives and how they interact with players. It was sort of a journey where you follow a path, you affect things along the way, and then when you come back along the path, what you've seen has changed based on how you affected it. I came to interactive media by way of classical studies, and I think that's, that's connected to my love of fairy tales, sort of that hero's journey, sort of monomyth style of storytelling. It's very familiar to a lot of people, and when you can take something that familiar and just twist it a little bit, um, bring attention to it and then change it, I think is, is really interesting.